Hi everyone, this is Dr. Praveen S. Patli here. Today, I am going to demonstrate the examination and neurological, a peripheral neurological examination in case of the leprosy patient. So, this is a prone case of lepromatous leprosy. Initially, we have to go for supraorbital palpation and afterwards the infraorbital palpation. Usually, it has to be done with the bare hand because so it will be become difficult to palpate if you are gloved one. So, infraauricular, greater auricular nerve. So, it is more than palpation, it is usually seen on the naked eyes. So, the patient is sensing the tingling sensation and the next nerve which is to be palpated that is the radial nerve at the radial groove where the delta, delta muscles insert and next one is the most commonest nerve which is initially get involved is the ulnar nerve in the ulnar groove. The, here the patient is complaining of the tingling sensation at the time of palpation of the ulnar nerve. So patient is complaining pain or tingling sensation. So it has to be examined on the either side of the arms. So what do we have done? Supraorbital, infraorbital, great auricular nerve and radial nerve and ulnar nerve. Then afterwards you can go for the posterior tibial nerve or anterior tibial nerve. Posterior tibial nerve and the medial side between the uh, medial mellulus and the tender calcaneus and uh, anterior tibial nerve over the uh, navicular bone or just adjacent to the dorsal spades. So this is all about the examination of the peripheral nerve in the leprosy patient. So if you want to see the more about the leprosy, then the screens links are given in the end screen. Thank you. Thanks for watching.